Uh, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? I think you can do better than that. How are you doing? That's good. That's good. Now, uh, for my session, um, you're going to need to have your iPod Touch. So if you can take that out. Right? Let me get mine. <laughs> it was well packed. It was well preserved. All right. Now, here we go. Uh, my little uh, presentation here is going to be on making uh, mobile websites very easy. This is a simple little case study in challenge-based learning and design. I teach web design classes, and with my students, um, one of the things that I wanted to do was, how can I have uh, kids in my class make meaningful use of iPod Touches as an internet communication device? Uh, basically, I wanted the kids to, you look around our school, and I said, I see all these kids that have iPod Touches all over the place. They're listening to music, they're doing things with them. But I said, well, how can I have my students do something meaningful with these? Um, how can all kids in the school do something meaningful with it, with these kids that have some talent to be able to do some things? So I wanted the kids to make a website that, that could really do something. That would be real world. Uh, here are some of the uh, guiding questions that kind of helped me frame, in my mind, uh, what I wanted them to be able to do here. And uh, obviously these are things that I wanted to do. Notice the time frame. We had three weeks to do this project. Uh, this was their final project in the class. Uh, here are some of the things that the kids... These are some of the things. Whoa, whoa. These are some of the things that the kids had to do. Uh, we used uh, an open framework called iWebKit, uh, and that's the website. It's a free, uh, open source framework that you can download and basically just edit the HTML, make your own graphics, and make websites. Here are two sample outcomes. One is a. Uh, a lot of our students go off campus for lunch. <laughs> So here's one that is a, uh, a guide that talks about all the eateries that, that people could walk to or drive to in the area with directions, Google Map integration. You could call the restaurant. It had menus embedded. This one's for our Model UN. Uh, if you go to this website right now, that is not a mobile site, but I've listed that and a ton of other resources there for you to use. <laughs> I've got 33 seconds left. So you can type that address in, go to that website, and take a look if you want to look at the actual um, student examples then uh, you can go ahead and click on the little icons for those two student samples and take a look at them. Any questions? Now I did use, um, I did use, uh, I wanted to leave this up for a long time so you could type that in. But um, I did use the iWebKit, but there's a number of other uh, open source frameworks and other great resources. If you are looking to uh, edit your HTML and graphics, 